So guys, the next question says, a ray of incident light at an angle of incidence I on one surface of a small angle prism with angle of prism capital A and emerges normally from the opposite surface. If the refractive index of the material of the prism is mu, then the angle of incidence is nearly equal to. So basically guys, they mean to say that this is the prism for which the angle of prism is A. Now whatever the light is coming over here, the incident light is having an angle of incidence I. Now here, the angle becomes R1. I hope you understand that. And here the light goes normally, basically. That is what they mean. Which means, the angle of emergence is 0. And that is equivalent to R2. Correct? And now very well known fact is, R1 plus R2 is generally A. But since R2 is 0, we can say R1 is itself A. Now by Snell's law, Mu is nothing but sine of i upon sine of r1. Now instead of r1, I can put a. Now assuming very small angles and expressed in radian. We can take this as i by e. So the sine of theta is equivalent to theta provided the angle is very small and expressed in radian. Now in that scenario, I can definitely write that means i is equal to mu times a and that is our final answer.